Okay, so we want to demonstrate how to make a cell out of dialysis tubing. Now it's not really a cell, but it's going to behave similarly to a cell, and so we'll just refer to it as a cell. And you can see we have a, a piece of dialysis tubing, and it's open on both ends. Now I, it's safe to handle. I have gloves on because I'm going to be using a dye in a minute, and I don't want to turn my fingers purple. But the first thing we want to do is tie an overhand knot in the very end of the dialysis tubing. And this is kind of tricky because you want to get the knot very close to the end of the tubing. As close to the end of the tubing as you can. So I'm just going to work it down until I can get it close to the end. And then I want to pull it tight so that it's watertight. So now we have an overhand knot in one end of our dialysis tubing. Now, when you're making cells for your osmosis lab, you're going to be putting different types of sucrose solution uh, inside of your cell. But I'm going to just use some water that I've added a little bit of dye to so you can see what's happening in the cell. So I have opened the end of the tube by rubbing the tubing back and forth between my fingers. And you may be able to see that I've inserted the tip of the dropper in the open opening of the tubing. So I'm just going to use the dropper to add some of this purple water. You have to be careful because it wants to stick together. So I'm just going to keep adding some purple water until we get the tube about half full. Okay, so now you see we have the tube about half full of our water. Now the next step is very important when making the cell. You want to draw the unfilled portion of the tube between your fingers to eliminate as much air as possible. Now I still have a little bit of air in there, but I can pinch it draw it between my fingers, and so now I have very little air in our cell. The next thing I need to do is tie an overhand knot in the other end. And it's important that I get that overhand knot just as close to the end of our tubing as possible. So I'm slowly working that knot up, and then I'm going to pull it tight when I have it at the very end. And you can see that this is sticking together because I have no air in the tube. So this is how to make a cell using dialysis tubing.